A Day in the Life of the Indian River Lagoon is essentially an opportunity for students to be student scientists. So they all go to a specific sampling site along the lagoon and they're collecting authentic scientific data about their specific sampling site along the lagoon. The kids, they, I think they love it. They were all excited about uh, getting into the water, about sailing, and uh, also they did the uh, water quality testing. So they learned about uh, the different uh, parameters used to test the quality of the water. It was uh, like a great experience for them, and for us it was uh, one of the best uh, days that we have had in this year. A Day in the Life is meant to be an annual program and it's essentially going to provide a large data set for anyone to utilize that information. So the teachers, the environmental partners, the public. We have sampling sites from Volusia County all the way down to Palm Beach County. It's all accessible through our website and then that information can be used to compare and contrast different sampling sites. So to see how one particular sampling site may vary or differ from one up north or down south. And um, over time we'll have a nice collection of data points. I think the fact that we've had such a great response by both schools as well as environmental partners just shows that people want to give the students the opportunity to better understand the lagoon. We have amazing partners for this program. There's over 30 different partners, environmental organizations that are participating. They signed on because they know the importance and the value of providing these opportunities for their students. The uh, lagoon, like uh, every other body of water in Florida and around the world, they're changing. And uh, we need to, to know more about those changes. And the only way to, to find that out is to uh, monitor the, the lagoon. So we need to get uh, data right now and uh, we teach the kids that uh, eventually they're going to be replacing me to do this work. So hopefully in another 10, 15 years, some of the kids that uh, came today to learn how to sing and do the water quality are going to be the one uh, doing that uh, testing. We're learning about a day in the life of the lagoon. So what we get to do is we get to do a bunch of different data collection and learn about sediments and the climate and the water situations. So it's really good to learn about everything that goes on in the environment out of the classroom. We need to take on the responsibility of our environment and where we're going to grow up and have our kids grow up. And the best time to start is now. We're discovering the things that are going right with our lagoon, but also the things that are going wrong with our lagoon. And we want to learn and find out ways to help and ways that we can do better. We're kind of like the next generation, and if we kind of want to keep it as beautiful as it is out here, then we need to you know, get more involved and interested in it and find better ways to keep it like the way it is. I very much view A Day in the Life as a ongoing project. This is not just a one and done opportunity or a field trip, it's a platform. It's a platform for students to then take this information and use it in science fair projects and research programs. And that's what this is all about, just providing the platform for people to take it and then take it to the next level. My favorite part of the experience is seeing the students in action, seeing them have that moment, connecting with nature outdoors, um, knowing that you don't know how you're impacting them right now. You don't know who's going to be the next politician or environmental scientist who's going to make a difference and find meaning in what they're doing today and want to pursue that in the future.